Down below, you guys, you can give any music video or clips of yours a cinematic film color grade. This tutorial is going to be super easy and down to the very last detail. So make sure you guys hit subscribe and stay to the very end because I think this is a very good effect slash style to know that you can use on your videos or use for your clients. So we have this Mine music video opened up here that was recently released on Lyrical Lemonade. And I think it's the perfect video to use for this. So to start off, we're going to go ahead and open up effect controls. And we're going to zoom in to remove the Lyrical Lemonade logo here. Now, this video is already colored. I'm assuming your guys' footage is going to be flat. So I'm actually going to take this footage and transform it to flat footage as best as possible. And this is also good to know if you guys are creating your own fan edits. So just follow along. Before we hop into this video, you can get buy one, get one free editing packs for everything on my website. If you guys are looking for brand new plugins like fast effects or surveillance, those are also included in the deal. If you guys add six editing packs to your cart, three of those are going to be completely free. Fast effects allows you to instantly add hits, shakes, wipes, and have full customizability over all of them inside of Premiere Pro. And surveillance allows you to add crazy security camera effects inside of After Effects, alongside all of my other packs like color grading, drag and drop 3D, music video titles, textures, and a ton more. And we also have an all-in-one bundle where you can get all my packs for one price. If this is something you guys are interested in, go check out my website down below. But without further ado, let's hop right back into the video. I'm going to turn the saturation down to about 40%, turn the contrast all the way down, turn the shadows up a little bit, just like this. And I think this looks very close to flat footage here. Maybe a little bit less saturation, maybe a tiny bit more contrast or the shadows down a bit and we'll be good. So basically to get started, there are a ton of film LUTs on the internet that you guys can use. Inside of my ultimate LUT pack, I have a couple of film LUTs and there's also a couple other ways you can add colors. So I think my favorite way to do it that is paid is a plugin called Dehancer. If I drag and drop it on here, you guys will see exactly how it looks. It has a ton of built-in actual film LUTs inside of it. This looks really bad right now because the setting isn't set. And you just go into film and it has all the actual films inside of it, which is crazy. And you could just add the color back to fit this to your own. So let's say we turn this back up. You guys can see instantly we have a very unique film look with Dehancer. And inside of Dehancer, you can add film grain, which is already enabled. But then Halation and Bloom are my favorite thing about this plugin because it adds those red outlines and it makes the certain aspects glow. I recommend tweaking these settings. I like to turn up Amplify to about 60 and then Local Diffusion to about 25 and Global to about 25 because it makes it pop a lot more, as you guys can see. I think this looks absolutely crazy. If we go ahead and turn this on and off, you guys can see the before and after. This plugin is expensive. If you guys want to go and use the link in the description, you can save some money using my code. But let's go ahead and delete this and do it without the plugin. If you open up YouTube, you can search up film grain and find tons of free film grains that you can download and use in your project. I'm going to be using my own film grain from my film looks pack that you guys can download down below. We're going to drag and drop this on this one clip here. And all you have to do is go ahead and scale it down so it fits your composition and then set it to overlay here. And you guys can see we have green immediately just like that. So now that this is decolored again, we're going to be using a lot to color this. So let's go inside of creative under look hit none and then hit browse. We're going to be coloring this with my ultimate LUT pack here. If you go to the very bottom of the pack, you have a one through eight of them. So let's go ahead and use film two. And you guys can see instantly how this makes it look. So I'm going to go ahead and turn up the intensity and then we'll go back inside of basic correction and tweak some settings. So we'll turn the contrast back up, the saturation back up. And you guys can see immediately we get this really cool film look that looks super unique. So now going ahead and adding the halation and bloom, there's a couple ways you could do it. Inside of Premiere Pro, you could use my plugins or you could create them yourself. So we're just gonna go ahead, hold option and drag our clip up. So there's two of them. If we go inside of effects here, inside of presets, you can then take a look at my vintage glow presets. If you open that up, you can drag and drop a couple of them on here. You have the highlights at minimal. You guys are going to see that's going to make everything glow a little bit. The highlights on medium is also nice too. It's going to look better on certain clips, honestly. You guys can see immediately just like that, we have a really unique film look. The grain and halation and everything is a lot better inside of Dehancer, but this is pretty much a free way to do it. If you don't want to use my LUTs, you guys can go on YouTube and search film LUTs and there'll be a ton of free ones to search free. 4K free cinematic film LUTs, free LUTs. There's tons of free LUTs on the internet and you guys can tweak them to your own liking. So if we go on our clip, go over to Lumetri Color, you can make it more green or orange as you guys can see see here. If you want, you can make it more blue. Just tweak them and you guys can see we have a really crazy look just like that. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to leave a like. I'll see you guys in the next video tomorrow. Peace.